In this video, I will walk you through how do we create a new AWS account. AWS offers 12 months of free trial account, which we can use up to a certain limit and beyond that it is charging. So AWS do not open everything for free. It keeps certain limit and beyond that it is chargeable. Let's create a new account with AWS. We'll click on create a new AWS account and it will redirect us to AWS login. Uh, okay, so it, it is redirecting us to sign up page. Here we will feed in our email ID. So let's feed in our email ID. And uh, let's use some strong password for this and some account uh, account name. So account name could be anything of your choice. It need not to be a unique account name, right? Um, and let's click on continue. It is asking for security chip. and phone number so you fill in all these details okay and check this option i uh, have read uh, and agree to the terms of conditions and then click on continue while i fill up the form and proceed to next i am pausing the video so once you complete your personal uh, details form the third step is asking the billing information so here you can fill in your credit card or debit card detail now uh, aws will never deduct any amount without your consent so just for one time verification it will deduct two rupees from your account or maybe one dollar from your account and it will revert back in 24 hours further based on your consumptions you will get monthly bill and unless you go ahead and make the payment aws will not automatically deduct so you are free to fill in the details there is no risk so please fill it fill in the details right and uh, once you fill in the details then it will ask you for the pan if you don't have the pan number you can opt for no all right there is no um, harm in going ahead with without pan registration so once you, once you complete this proceed to the next while i am completing this step i am pausing the video so once your payment is successful right you will receive a confirmation message or email from your banking partner and uh, then this will take up to the third or uh, fourth step where we need to fill in our identity details like your email um, uh, your uh, phone number and get that identity authenticated with the phone number so you need to select uh, two options e e either of these two options text message or voice call so I am going with the text message and uh, reason I'm selecting India I'm selecting the mobile number uh, so let me complete this and once I'm done I will proceed to the next step by then you can complete this step so here I'm getting one verification code over SMS I will fill in the verification code here which is 4159 and let's proceed to the last step which is about selecting the support plan so this support plan there are three types of support plan available here basic support which is free of cost developer support would cost you around 29 dollar per month where you get the access to develop uh, development related issues business support will cost you 100 dollar per month and uh, here you will get the tech support so tech support over email phone number chat and the response is within one hour i'm going ahead with the 
basic support plan because this the purpose of this account is for learning and exploring AWS services. So I will go ahead with the default and click on complete sign up. So once sign up is done, let's go to management console and we will do some verification whether we have our account fully activated or not. Many a times what happen, we believe that our account registration is complete, but there, there used to be issue in the billing. And then what we do is we change our billing uh, information so that we get our account completely activated. So here you let's select the role and uh, select the interest area and click on submit. And let, now let's click on sign in to console. This will redirect you to sign in page. Here you need to fill in your email ID and the password. So this, so whenever you log into AWS, it will redirect you to this page. One option is root login. So root login is the login through the account owner uh, credentials. Account ordered owner's credential will be the one who has registered for this AWS account. And that's where the email ID is required. So here you just need to fill in the email ID and uh, proceed to the next page where it will ask you for the password. Okay, so the credential that you set up in the first stage of registration for AWS account. I will give it, I will give my email ID here. And uh, it will ask for some capture it. And the password. Now this will log in to the Snowflake page, not Snowflake AWS page. This is our AWS console, and in this AWS console, many services are free. So if we start using that service, it will not basically verify whether our account registration is fully completed or not. So what we can do is we will go to a service which is paid service and see if you are able to access that service console or not. So I'm going to EC2, one of the most favorite um, AWS service. And here it says that thank you for signing up with AISPL, the service you take up 24 hours to fully activate if you are unable to access contact service, uh, contact AWS services. Uh, and uh, sometimes what happens is that due to the invalid credit card information it is not completed or due to some you know uh, steps that was missing during the registration it is not completed so we should always click on complete your AWS registration and let's see where it take us because ideally it will take us to the page where our uh, registration was incomplete so now it is saying that congratulations this has been complete when you are coming to this page right this confirms that from your side you are done it's just that AWS team is taking a little bit of time to fully set up your AWS account. So we'll, it's just a matter of time. We'll have to wait for some time and then we can again try accessing our account. All right. So if you get any issue for uh, while setting up the AWS account, please feel free to uh, uh, put your query in the comment section and we will respond and we'll try to help you as early as possible. So see you in the next video where we'll come up with some more interesting use case. Till then.